Okay. Do your intro. Oh, all right. <coughs> I'm okay. Good start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <coughs> all right. <coughs> all right. Hello, everybody from Babscon. This is uh, me, Toon Critic, Eliora, Sweetie Bloom, Golden Fox, uh, Keyframe, and. You were pointing all. You were pointing to the wrong people. Whatever you you know who these people Let's are. Let's start so. over. So no these people obviously have no idea what they're doing. No. Nope. Oh God. Really? What? 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 What happened to you? <laughs> and Will was never seen from again. Hey! 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 I'm okay. I think. How did you become a pony in the human world? Hey, what is this hand here? Come on. Aha, <laughs> <here. laughs> uh -huh. I knew you were you're the man behind the curtain. I had no idea you wanted me to pull you wanted to pull me that close to your crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Oh, Mr. Right. Return of the Gay Circus Ringmaster. <laughs> We've gotta keep that in. Anyway, BabsCon is finally over. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> guys, 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 we gotta keep it down. <laughs> we gotta keep it down a little bit. It's a little bit late, so we don't want to get noisy. And what did everyone think of BabsCon? I had a Well, blast. to be fair, no, this this whole BabsCon journey was not just for BabsCon. It was, there's days prior to that where yes. we had a whole, <laughs> whole week, pretty much, of us hanging out around California, so... Uh, let's start from the beginning. Let's start from Tuesday, March 31st, from when we all met up in Los Angeles on a uh, beautiful, beautiful sunny day where uh, <coughs> we're starting to meet up with people. Uh, we met up with, um, man, this has been a while since we've done one of these. Um, yeah, how about we, the first person that you saw? We, I, I met up with uh, Sweetie Bloom and Eliora and Golden Fox and uh, Lauren, Abby Rohde. Who's yeah. awesome. Yes. Oh, Keyframe, you're here too. Oh, that's right. Hello, Represented man. here. Yes. That is if the camera can show it. Drawn there by, we go. Drawn by Tony Fleece. I got that for her. She loves it. She went squee. Now, if, correct me if I'm wrong. <coughs> uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Claire and Key, this is your very first, like, Brony convention. Yep. Brony convention, yes. And Fox, this is your first BabsCon and first time to be in San Francisco. Woohoo! I don't get out very often. And who just poked me? I didn't, for once. <coughs> I did. Spooky do. Well, ah! Just for that. Just for that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Fox. <laughs> and nope. And then you lost your spot. Yeah. Move your feet, lose your seat. <laughs> be careful, mind you. Some of us are a little sick. Not just, just a little. In, not just in the actual <coughs> sense, but also sick in the mind. Anyways. That too. Tuesday. Um, for the longest time, we thought that this trip was just going to be me, Kat, uh, maybe maybe Fox, <coughs> and maybe Key, and maybe Claire. But, and I said your name, right, Will? No. no. Okay, and, oh, okay, it was going to be the three of us, but we didn't know about these three over here. And when we found out that little Miss Keyframe here was allowed to, hey, here we go. Yep, yep. There we go. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. There we go. Pointed in the right direction. <laughs> we found little Miss Keyframe over here was going to be able to go. A lot of us were excited because this was her, you know, birthday sort of weekend since, you know, she yes. didn't get a proper one at home. We thought we'd, you know, make this little trip, you know, dedicated to her. So. And our little kitty who's never mm. been to Disneyland. Yes. We'll explain that in a second. <clears throat> so. What was it like for all of us getting to see Keyframe for the very first time? I think that was a very uh, magical painful, moment. Mostly painful, <laughs> yes. Very. Not for you, I read. No, I was lucky. I had, no, I had it the was camera. Something, it was something so. like this. He did not fall, which I was afraid of. But, you know, he wasn't able to hold his feet. Yeah, that's better. That's yeah. better. There we go. So, yeah, uh, I had never met Golden Fox or Key, or uh, Keyframe or Sweet Bloom in real life, but they were some of my closest friends, so I thought that would be cool. Yep. Uh, it was really cool uh, getting to finally get hook up with everybody on Tuesday, minus Will, unfortunately. Oh, like that. I still had work for that afternoon, but uh, I, was, <clears throat> I was fortunate enough to... Uh, <clears throat> Not have anything planned for that night, so I immediately drove down to Anaheim to reserve our um, <clears throat> hotel room at the Candy Cane Inn, which was about. Sweet treat. Um, yes, yeah. we decided that before. Boop. Um, Boop. Nah, we decided that before. We decided that before. Are you done? Boop. <laughs> now I'm done. 
We decide Boop. Boop. that you got your finger in my nose a bit. That was her. <laughs> we decided oh, that ahead. before uh, BabsCon, we would uh, stop in Los Angeles to go to Disneyland. Some of us haven't been to Disneyland forever. Some of us haven't been to Disneyland at all. So we figured Disneyland would be a nice little treat. And when we got to the hotel Tuesday night after some, uh, I believe, some interesting fun at Dave and Buster's, we had a little uh, sweet treat from uh, this dude, this dude over here. Hi. We had a cake. We had a very, very nice cake. For the birthday girl, this is her little birthday, not crown. <laughs> See, featuring a um, piece of um, uh, Golden Key fan art that was drawn by Abby Rohde. Yes. Figured it would be a nice little touch. It was our first fan art. Hmm. So, <coughs> from then... We went to Disneyland. And Yay! Disneyland! 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 By the way, speaking of vlogs, if you see right here, uh, I'm going to put up some people who vlogged during this convention, I believe. The two people that vlogged the most were uh, Will and Fox. So I didn't do anything. If you wanna look, I tried if you, to, but... If you want to look here, you're going to see some stuff, so you can click on Just here. Just look when... right here over Toon Critic's bulbous head. <laughs> or here for... for or here. I'm over his bulbous head. I don't have a I'm bulbous head. Well, click this annotation oh, that's on that's, Ellie's that's head. That's what she said. Annotation here, annotation here. When they upload their stuff, which hopefully won't take forever, then we shall see what they've done. <coughs> I've vlogged as well, which you'll see later on, so... <laughs> well, there I was the thing. Anyway, I didn't bother so, vlogging because I know these guys had it. So, we went, so we went to Disneyland. We went to Disneyland. And, oh, a oh, funny story. Um, we were waiting online because we went during the opening, and... We started singing Disney oh. songs. Ellie, we get out now. <laughs> we let were irritating go, the crap out of everybody in line, including Cat. We, we had so many people <laughs> looking at us. Yeah, and then when we went into Disneyland, we already had this plan of, okay, we're going to go on this ride, this ride, this ride, this ride, this ride. And we managed to do that in about less than five hours. We, yeah. we got it done by noon, and we're like, okay, now what do we do now? What do we do now? We've already done everything. And we stayed there from opening to closing, which for some of us Not was... Not quite to closing. Well, we, we skimped out. We, we stayed for Fantasmic. <coughs> yeah. The only, the, uh, we went on each line, we some lines said like, some lines said 30 mm -hmm. or 45 minutes. It felt like 20. And the grit... And, and then there was Indiana Jones. There was only <laughs> that was the longest we had waited for. Indiana fucking Jones. We went on Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, uh, Astro Blasters, um, the Enchanted Tiki Room. Tiki 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 Room. I'll kill you all. Oh yes, we got a few of those. We got a Disney lightsaber. There's a button you can press. He got very intimate with Will with one of those, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I tried to hit him in his fanny pack, and... You hit me in the dick! Ah, the, wow. God damn it, the light in my eyeball! Ah, but see, we, uh, after after we went on rides and we had some nice dinner courtesy of this week, we, yes. went to see the oh, yeah. we went to see the fireworks, and then mm -hmm. we went to see Phantasmic, which was amazing. Man, I haven't oh, seen yeah. fireworks in ages. I and thought it was then really great. We went to, and then According we, to this one, it was And then far, we had the best oh, part of our trip. Yeah. Shocking. We had the best part of our trip, which is a seven-hour drive. Woo! Yep. And I've been long Which drive. not was... Where this guy did three illegal um, merges into the carpool lane. Shut up. <laughs> I could just imagine Ellie, like, smacking him. And this Ellie, guy like, was tailing this guy really dangerously close. Yeah. He almost uh, got into an accident. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. To be fair, sometimes I kind of have to make illegal moves in order to get pizzas delivered on time. So don't come <coughs> try to me. If I may say, that was probably the only memorable thing about the trip. Other than that, it just breezed on by. We, in and out. Yeah. We did had it. in and out for the first time. Yeah, so... so yes. We did not... Nothing, nothing else really happened on the trip. Nothing I can think of. So, uh... Lots of Beatles. Yeah. Lots of Beatles. Lots of Beatles. Lots of Beatles. Oh, Jungle Book! I oh, yes! I was telling everybody about Jungle Book! Toon Crick thinks that 1967 <laughs> was after 1989. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell us the full story, honey. 
Okay, so we were playing 20 questions, and Dune was trying to get me to guess this Disney movie, and one of the questions I asked was, was it during the Disney Renaissance? He's like, yeah, I think so, or maybe a little bit earlier. I'm like, okay, I'm going back as 1980. I have no idea what he's talking about. I finally give in. He goes, the Jungle Book! That's not anywhere near the Disney Renaissance. Yeah, it's not anywhere near the Disney Renaissance. It's the first movie is released that, after Walt Disney. Movie you're such a dumb, but a dumb, but a dumb, dumb. Exactly. That, well, I guess that may be a compliment that the animation looks that nice. I guess. Yeah. Still look very dated to me. It's also probably because that, from a child's perspective, in the marketing. Whatever uh, movie is being previewed, the they would assume that's the current movie that's coming out. I used to fall for that, but then I, uh, as, as I got older, when I looked at that preview again, it's like copyright 1967. It's, I'm like, it's, oh. it's possible that Mr. Toon, Mr. Baby Hair, got it in oh, what was probably uh, 1993 as the 25th anniversary edition, and thought that, that was the first time it was released. Oh, jungle! But 25 boy. years. Is and you're supposed thing. to keep us totally tuned. It was one. <laughs> Error, but, okay. Um, the other, another One th- error. You <laughs> keep on talking about all these Marvel so, stuff. So, so, after, please get your hand over. I was about to say, you kind of <laughs> put that on yourself. Okay, <clears throat> no, okay, so after our trip, we finally made it to this hotel and then passed out. And yeah. we started our first day at the con, which we went to the opening ceremonies and we all were all raving and jumping to Nightmare Night. And mm-hmm. um, after that, we had our panel, which... Brony reviewing one on one three. Yep. Which was had some of the best intros by with our with our friends Bobby and Sharky. <coughs> yes, Bobby uh, made the intro videos for us. A Sharky provided us with the vocals. Shout out to both of you for being so awesome and for being so patient with this. And hey, Ben's gone. Thrill me. Yeah. No, Baron, I can dig it. it. <laughs> we threw in a little surprise. <laughs> <laughs> we threw in a little surprise for Anthony C. I yeah. thought it was really cute. How we managed to pull and it off. And we had a lot of fun, even though our panel was a little bit sh- cut short on time because the opening ceremonies ran late because of technical yeah. difficulties. But we still made it work. We still, in the time that we had, we still pulled off We had a pretty great. packed room, which I was surprised. We had just as much as Silver did in his panel, which was on mm-hmm. Saturday night, <coughs> during Nahum night. Yeah, but he still yeah. managed to pull off something good, which I was quite Yeah, his about. panel was really great. I did the camera work for that. For Bless, Bless you. Bless you. I did the camera work for that for whatever he posted on the channel. He... It was so if you don't like the cinematography, you blame her. <laughs> what, else, what else was there on Friday, if I may ask? Um, Friday, me and him went to go see Chi Chi, who performed with Chi Chi, if, if you're watching this, <clears throat> keep on singing, girl. You are amazing. Oh, she also, fun fact, um, she met up with uh, Rebecca Soyket uh, earlier, and uh, the two of them uh, did a duo together. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, Chi Chi and Sunset Shimmer made a tune. Whoop-a-dee-doo. And on Saturday, because I don't really remember a lot from Friday, on Saturday, t- um, Do- Dr. Wolf <coughs> gave me this after I got Andrea Lipman's autograph. Which, by the way, can we show Can we show the, the thing that you did? The, uh... This this is he, <coughs> him and his lady gave me the Sunset Shimmer. This Sunset Shimmer. Sun- no. <laughs> oh, there it is. The, this flutter, no, this Fluttershy it? toy oh, uh, as... Uh, something to remind me of how she is the peacemaker and everything, and but it that's, was really sweet, and I love it, and it means a lot to me. That's not the only cool thing, though, Will, if you may. Oh, God. Yes. Take a look at this. Miss Keyframe made this, and it was given in the charity auction. Besides the charity auction being a bunch of crap this year, because, uh... It was not complete. It was, it was not it very was well organized. Ill, honestly, yeah, it was kind they of They spent planned. way too much time goofing around, donating so many toys and People stuff. were donating more money to shave some guy's beard. Yeah, it like, was... I don't <clears throat> mind if they want to actually participate to something as far as charity auctions go, but I... But you know, I, think, I think the order was off. I yeah, think when I was at Equestria LA twice in a row, the first things that they were donating were art. And then they started to get to the toys. This was completely reversed, and it seemed like... Yeah, this thing, Sorry, Dusty, but this yeah. entire team was not on top I of the shit. I think Dusty did the best he could with what he was doing. I mean, he, yeah. did he did the he best did a, he, he could. He did a fantastic job. But talk. the rest of the team who were giving up... Whoever the, was the organizers needed a little bit of work, but I'm not going to get mad at them. It was just... I feel I do feel like they should have done because they had stuff like guitars and they had um they had some beautiful woodwork done by um Earth, um, Earth Creations that 
Who made the silver? Earth creations. The um, Earth pony creations. It no, Earth pony creations are the woodcut. Yeah, yeah, the yeah there, 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 was, there was a woodcut Luna in the charity auction room that oh. never got auctioned. Oh, well, that sucks. And, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, in fact, uh, I actually um. There was a woodcut sonata too. Yeah, wood carving that was done by a uh, Spike Firemain. Um, actually, a really cool person to talk to. There I, uh, were a bunch of things that were and yeah. the, uh, the charity that just but, but, did not make it on stage because there was so much time going. Hey, can we get you a little bit but, more money but, from you? But, but the cool oh, thing oh, is, oh. Because, be, apparently, one of the people that were running the auction, even she thought that this this gorgeous piece of work was bid for too little. She offered to uh, put it back on the auction to uh, raise it for more money or. For yeah. us to auction it at a at a different con, and uh, we're possibly thinking, uh, EQLA. Okay, yeah, you question yeah, EQLA or Brony Con. So and the, but it was just so I do. I do think they should have done the artwork first and then the small... Well, I mean, hey, it's still, still got but, over but, 200. You know what? Either way, the money went to a good cause. It, the only the thing that just made me a little bit upset was not really my painting, <laughs> but the shadow box that went with it done by Pony Art, which I thought looked better than the BabsCon exclusive one that went with Golden Gates because it was this beautiful alicorn twilight piece and... I feel like it deserved more, and it should have been done separate because that mm -hmm. thing was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. there would be an auction uh, two at the same time. Yeah, but, yeah, but, it, was, but uh, it was uh, this piece here, which I got for <coughs> Brownie. Except it was signed by Tara Strong, so and this by Tara one Strong. is signed by Andrea Libman. So it what was you got that? Yeah, not the one signed by Tara Strong, obviously. Yeah, so it was Still. this piece, which I, I, think I, I this is, is this is for Corpulent Brownie. I will I be think, shipping it to you once I get back to LA. Which I think is more is better than the Golden Oaks Library with Golden Gates in it. Mm. But you should thank this guy for making it able that this thing was auctioned off in the first place. Yeah, mm. which I think is really cool. Which, uh, thankfully, because uh, the way I was able to get back there, because the charity auction happened right after one of my highlights of the con, The Voice Equestria. Jinx, you owe me a root beer. Great, yeah. great transition. Which Will should have won. No, yes. no, as far oh, as we're on. concerned, as let, far... <coughs> let me tell the story. Okay, okay. we're not Because I was the one up there. Okay, tell us the story. So, Thanks. pretty much, it was me against five other contestants. And four. Claire, no, yeah, four other contestants for a total of five. And uh, it was sort of run a little... Di it was sort of run a little differently than last year. It went quicker. But, yeah. Yeah, I think Which it I went watch. a little quitter, but... Uh, uh, did I just say quitter? Uh, yes. Quicker, um... Like last year, they had they still had all five contestants up until one for final challenge with the final two. Mm. Uh, this one, after just one challenge, they all they immediately leveled it down to three. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. were worried there for a second, like oh shit, oh we'll safe, okay. <laughs> which I yeah, I, which I thought honestly was a bit unfair, but um. The two guys there that were really good though. The guy who did Mojo really Jojo good. and the guy in the four chan costume, oh, I thought. Oh, were, oh, I thought they were yeah, really yeah. good. I thought they were really good. <clears throat> um. And then, after, like, another challenge, it was narrowed down to two. Him and which Katrina was Blue. me and uh, this girl, Katrina, who goes by uh, Little Miss Blue on um, Twitter and Facebook. Exceptional, exceptional voice actress, if she I She is say. great, and also a great cosplayer. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah I, I thought she did really well, too. And, mm -hmm. and, and fun story, okay, it was hosted by Brian Drummond, and the judges were... Uh, Tara Strong, Andrea Libman, and Ian James Corlett. Mm -hmm. Things were going fine up until we noticed Ian is just like, he, he noticed that there was like an unfair, like, what did he say exactly? He here, said, here, I'll say this. So, at, at the very, very end, they had to choose just one winner. So they all got in their little uh, corner, and they even had the uh, the winner from last year participate uh, in the judging. And they, they all unanimously thought that the two of us should have tied mm -hmm. because we were both really good but uh in the end they had to you know make it uh, i want to say biased but at the same time i don't but um i they don't had, know they, why they couldn't have made it a tie though it, it's not like there was nothing unprecedented <coughs> about it. it's the second voice of equestria yeah pr pretty much they had to select a winner by audience applause and uh they um, noticed he has. Well, you know how they well that noticed went down that he, in, They you know. noticed that there were you guys were in the but, audience but the already thing, cheering no, for me look look i'm gonna say this in our defense you, he's. They said a family of twenty because there was more than just us. It's not our fault that you have a fan base. <laughs> hey, to be fair, to be fair, blue, uh, blue had a fan base as blue well. Had, it's like yeah. one side of the room was us, one half, one the other half was blue. <clears throat> it yeah. was pretty narrow. I just don't like the fact. I remember they were glaring at us. I'm like, oh shit, did we just screw Will out of this? Oh, we're boy. sorry. Yeah, honestly, that's what I. That's what I thought too. But then, but then again. But then again, At who's the, the who is the one that got Tara Strong following him? Uh, let and me say, let me say, let me say it. No spoilers. Bet, bet up. Bet. Okay, 
After the contest, um, uh, the three judges, they pulled me in for a bit of a pep talk, and they all unanimously said to me, hey, uh, you, you two were both amazing. We honestly wish we could have said it was a tie. But uh, then Tara Strong came to me and um, asked, asked me like where I live, and I said, oh, I live like about an hour north of Los Angeles. And she recommended to me um, uh, two things. Um, a class with uh, Kathy, Kathy Cavadini, who uh, worked with Tara. She's, uh, Tara's the voice of Bubbles, and Kathy was the voice of Blossom in the Powerpuff Girls. And, uh, <laughs> okay, um, she um, recommended that I take a class with her in uh, July, which, um, which I'll have to look that up later. And she recommended me, like, two casting agencies, uh, Voice Tracks West and I think Camelson and Camelson, I think that's what it's called. But either way... Um, I guess that worked out for you, Miss Oliver and Blossom. Miss? Do not ask, Ellie. <laughs> But, Just don't. But, yeah, so overall... <laughs> Inside the voice, jokes. The voice of Equestria Won't went really well, but we've but, been... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> overall, um, I thought the voice... I, I honestly thought it was a really stiff competition, too. Um, and, very well. Uh, yeah, very and and I have experience. Yeah. yeah. I, I knew when they went through the, all five of them once, it's like, <clears> I mean, it's going to be Will and... Katrina. And Will. Yeah. I knew it was going to be those two. And, uh, but, it was the skinny people. Skinny. But, yeah, at, at, at the very end, Tara not only pulled me back for a pep talk, but... A little while later, she followed me on Twitter, and she says she's going to hook me up with something. Um, I don't know if I should really disclose it's what something. it is. It, it's, it's something. something. She, she's, it's cool. Let's she, just she say. says she's going to hook me up with something, and she, like she DM'd me saying that, like to reassure me, like it was it, nice. it was in fact a tie, and um, and uh, but but either way, you still won as far as we're all concerned. I was. Yeah. Blue was good. I was, was really I was you're the unofficial the... winner. But I do think that both of you actually are the unofficial. Well, you're both winners, but you're the unofficial actually, winner too. Do you want to hear what Katrina? We actually met up with Katrina when we were getting milk, <coughs> uh -huh. and um, she uh, she thought she actually was saying. Okay, one, one of the one of the first place prize uh, to the winner was going to be like a private. Sort of um, thirty minute session with thirty minute session with like with co over coffee with uh, the too. Drummonds, Brian and Berna, and apparently um, they only could really allow her to sit in on their autograph session, and they didn't really couldn't really talk much. Uh, mm. Yeah. So so I'm guessing in a way, I'm sort of glad I got runner up, but at but you got dinner, guys. Look, yeah. look, what are you? Look. What did you? What? Oh, he put a little. She made a little ponytail. Oh my! It's adorable. What the hell? What? It's adorable. It's what? A, you're like a little zuko. I it's adorable. I can't even see what you did to me. It's like a dog chasing a tail. Where is it? Where is it? What did you do? Why did you draw that? But see. What did you do to my hair? But, but, but I mean, like, you also got can to can him. him. Can I be seen? Can I be seen? Yeah. Sort of turn him aside. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but but anyway, but anyway. Because your hair is long enough now. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Anyway, he got to also have dinner like the other I got to have dinner with uh, uh, the three finalists from last okay. year and uh, and the f and all five finalists from the, this year's. And uh, we had that's where I also talked to Spike Firemane, who's 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 a really chill dude. And by the way, you should check you should really, honestly, check out his wood carvings on oh, uh, yeah. DeviantArt. They are Link superb. Which you. also made me angry at the charity auction because that Sonata thing was adorable. Yeah, but any, but anyway, that was um. Okay, yeah, yeah. we can't see. That it. was um. That was, that was so. Those were some of the things on Saturday, and I and I um stayed behind oh. for the concert to support uh. Black uh, Griffin. Black Griffin and Basic <laughs> and uh, IB IB Concept and Rhyme Flow as always. And we were at Silver Quill's um, Inspiration Manifestation Station, which was an ep epic panel, which probably was more better handled than mine. But <laughs> which, but, uh, well, it was, well it the was other thing really was is that they got he he was able to get in better early, but the only detriment to him is that we can hear the thumping in the background. Yeah, and he some some person was opening and closing the door consistently, and I could just see Silver Quill look up from his bird mask and just go like. Dude. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some people were just rude. Yeah. But it was it was a really good it was a really good uh, panel. Oh, also on Friday we went to have a huge dinner with um, <laughs> many us, reviewers, us Skywatcher many and oh, yeah. us us oh, yeah. Skywatcher, <laughs> Megan, <laughs> Dr. Silver, Doctor Wolf, um, KP and her editing team though KP had to leave because she emceed the closing ceremonies for tonight, which we didn't go see by accident. Sorry, KP. But um, <laughs> hey, KP, no, I good. saw it. I saw it. Good. <laughs> Thank you, though, for being on the panel. Uh, You're a real sweetheart. Yes, exactly. 
But, um, uh, yeah. Oh, speaking of which, um, uh, yesterday, um, another thing we did, we uh, met Cat Avenger. Yes, 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 we did. Kitty. We so met. Sweetheart. We've met Cat Avenger. We met Red Cord and Blue Rave. We've met Dark Wolf. We've, we've met, met Thunderblur. We've met Persian Poetess. And we met Skybuster, who's, Sky who's a very nice Skywatcher. Ni- yeah, who's a very nice pixel artist. Mm-hmm. Yes. It, we met all sorts it's of very really hard people. to pronounce names. Yes. yes. And we met all sorts yeah. of really cool people. Doctor Wolf is very interesting because he just has such. When you meet the guy, you realize how much of a good sense of humor he has. Oh yeah. And, oh, he, was, yeah. and he was selling prints there too. Yes. In order to that w- that remember guys that 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 witch doctor line though. Excuse me. Excuse me. I felt I felt so like I felt so like honored because like you you it was okay oh. you show the print first ladies and gentlemen if you would like to help starbat thank you starbat go to uh bronycon Brony you can ask for one of these lovely prints i got mine signed by dr wolf and dusty cat there are also several other prints that you can get to um, help him includes, on his way um, he'll be at everfree northwest too so yeah, yes. one, one includes kp and dr wolf and then you have one by one print strangely the, with the moment with the cmc moment with the cmc moment, moment with fluttershy fluttershy and twilight and, and then you have one print, one print set, which I thought he would do more. One print set that is um, a rarity with, made by Mr. Tom Fox. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's gonna be uh, for um, rarities therapy visit. <coughs> yes, Satan. but uh, I think no, it's just like Doctor Wolf has such a great sense of humor, and he's so nice. It's the so, fact, so, the fact that I he was able to do a side by side vlog um, on the season five premiere with Silver Quill. Oh, Silver Quill and him Silver make the best so odd couple. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, Silver. Yeah. And then Silver. Oh, at our panel. Silver. At our panel to have Actually, fun with the April Fools joke that um that they did on their channels. Mm-hmm. Um, Silver Quill told Doctor Wolf to come up because Silver Quill started the MC of all of our Q and A's, and he put on the Silver Quill mask that he had, and he was just perfectly. Fine he wore with it for the entire yeah. panel. Oh mm-hmm. my god. It was awesome. Oh, it, can it I amazing. also add something else during our uh, reviewing panel? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I brought a shirt that has a troll face on it, and I actually displayed that in response to all the haters who have been giving me so much you slack. You dork. Yeah. You dork. <laughs> and, and I started singing Shake It Off. It was a lot of fun. Dark. I think one of the best, th- one of my favorite things, though, is that um, waiting for the voice of Equestria, they started playing Apples to the Core, and I was, on Saturday, I was completely cosplaying as Pinkie Pie with, like, a so tail and So it's fitting ears. for you. And when Pinkie Pie, I just told Fox, Babe, give me your camera. And, she filmed all the and way I went to, and I went, and I was like, "Wee!" And I started like singing the song, and everyone was. It was so fun to do that. I, I, I think if, if animation doesn't work out, I'm gonna be a hype master. That would be there, fun. There you hey, go. hey, you can join me on that sort of front. Yeah. Hello, everybody. His name is Mark. Oh, Mark. Hello, everybody. Is Wilfred Warpstash. No, oh yeah. No, um, these two are very dangerous combinations. Yeah. See, see, that we was found a, this that. Oh, I script. was going to point. I was going to point this out. Um. Um. Uh, Tuesday when I came in, I went to go see LMU, which is a beautiful campus, and I got to hang out with the bestest big sister ever, which is Lauren. And also Golden Fox. Yes, and she... <laughs> Speaking uh, of which, and wait, 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 let me show you the birthday gift Lauren got me. Speaking um, of which, when you arrived and finally saw me, I was the only one that actually caught you. Yeah, I, yeah. I tackle-hugged everyone, and everyone else either fell or got, or stumbled, or in this case, Toon almost got his camera broken. Yeah, and if that were the case, I would have hurt you. When I <laughs> ran and hugged Will, he actually caught me, and I and I tackle and I kind of tackled hugged Dr. Wolf, and he was just sort of like, well, you seem happy. <laughs> and I ta- and I tackled like Silver Quill, and he just accepted it. He's such a sweetheart. Well, again, you are talking to a dancer who's been been there for like 10 years. Yeah. Right. Sometimes but I, this, I had to This uh, is what Lauren made for me for my birthday since we're both beetle freaks. Woo! She act- she drew and painted oh, yeah. this with acrylic paint of the Saturday morning Beatles because um, before I became a brony, uh, me and her were very heavily in the Beatle fandom. Oh, gee, I would have had no idea. And she's just so sweet, and everyone should look at her artwork because she's amazezballs. Yeah. yeah. Amazeballs. So, amazeballs. So did anything happen Sunday? Um, so today? Today. Yeah. Today, um, um... Some people went to the closing ceremonies yeah. and the Daniel Ingram panel. The Daniel yeah, Ingram yeah, panel. Yeah, me and, uh... The <coughs> Animated James panel was awesome with, as well. well. I'm Animated, sorry, I'm sorry I couldn't be there for that. Yeah, Animated James, honestly, didn't really talk much. It was mostly run by, uh, Pika PD. By PD, yeah. Well, yeah. You, I kind of expected that given that he put up the promo so late. Mm. But, um... The other thing was, um, we all went to lunch with Silver and his friends, and... The discussions that we all... It was a very interesting thing because we just had, like, these really nice discussions. That was probably actually my favorite part. And every once in a while, Silver would go, guys, 
No, it's just I it's think, really cool. It's though. really bad when Silver Quill is the it's, one shushing but you. But th- I think yeah. that's may, it. May seem strange to say, but that was my favorite part of this entire trip was just that giant conversation thing because it was very unifying. It was really cool. And, uh, Without I love, removing key marks. <laughs> I love being in the reviewing community to have talks like that. Honestly, and, and actually, like that entire thing like inspired like I I've already written down ideas for four videos talking about different concepts and um the other thing that happened today is that I recorded my Pinky Pride review which is a completely live action review with some clips and these losers cameoed in it and <laughs> it was I think, I think my favorite cameos came from Hold Will and Claire still, oh, because I made these two undeniably probably more creepy than the season 5 opener because this guy we're just doing what you told us to do. Then, no, this one was creepy because of her smile. You have you have a creepy, <laughs> genuinely creepy smile, this Claire. One, this one could just disappear really quickly, and that scares me. Well, you were the one who wanted <laughs> me between your legs. <laughs> Hello. Long story, he <laughs> popped up from under the camera, and he had to slide back down, and the only way he can fit to the way he could slide up again is if my legs were open and he had his back to it. Down, Fox. But, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Real would you, quick. Would you say I got uh, just sa- je- sexy back? Just, sa- <laughs> uh, just saying, just saying, at the end of the review, there's going to be some bloopers, but given how much unprofessional we are, as you can probably see, there's going to be an entire separate video of bloopers as well. Speaking of separate videos, our season five thoughts, which will be uploaded very soon as well. This yep. Is- it's gonna be the first thing. Place so. like in the description box. Oh, and also another. Uh, another on this, uh, and also on this another. Link. Click on our dicks. And another special, special, special video, which we will not spoil, but it will be up on Golden Fox channel. He knows you know what Sad, I'm talking sadly, about. Sadly, I will not be here what? for that because what immediately we're, we're, after the filming of yet, immediately after the filming of this vlog, I have to drive back down down to Camarillo to get back to the real world. Aww. Ow. Sorry. I don't want to go back <laughs> home. Crushed. We're all like a family together. This has been this has been the analysis anarchy, and we say goodnight. Already, Bye. damn. Bye. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna know like that. Okay, okay, okay. Other stuff, all that fun stuff. Babscom was awesome. Cannot wait for this to happen again. You guys, you guys have. Yeah. <laughs>